Well, good morning everybody and to those in Australia or maybe some other countries, I'm not sure. Um, happy Father's Day. First day of spring here, first of September, Sunday. Over there to Tom and Baxter. So I'm just going for a run to see my father. And basically, I'm just giving you a little update because Tom's going away to do some work. Um, a friend, of, a very old friend, he's the best man actually, uh, did call and needs a bit of assistance, some paid work. So Tom's going to go up to Ipswich tomorrow and see how he goes. He has got a bum shoulder, so they'll assess that and he'll be going away on and off. He's also been called to jury duty, so he has to be back for that, but he'll be going away on and off to help um, our friend Neil out with, with work. And Baxter and I'll be bacheloretting it, bachelor and bacheloretting it, which is fine. I think I can handle it. So I just want to let you know that yesterday, our last day of winter, in our part of the world and I know along the southeast we topped almost 35 degrees Celsius now that was the last day of winter it was so damn hot uh, that would be that's been happening on and off over the last two weeks and it will continue to happen until Tuesday when we drop back down to about 21 um, and then back up again and down. It's been, oh, it's been a bit stupid. Um, but I can't ever remember the last of winter ever being like that. Um, jumping straight into summer temperatures. No merging into spring, straight into summer, but I hope, I do hope it will um, calm down and come back into spring temperatures because I don't think I can stand six full months of summer. So, I just, there's something that had come to my mind that I do want to talk to potential Riker riders about. And it was from watching um, a, a, a YouTube. For anyone that is a potential Riker rider, don't be swayed by a two-wheeler that mightn't like them that much and say how hard they are to ride. Um, yes, my husband will say that it's totally different. My son-in-law will say that it's totally different and a lot of YouTubers will say that it's totally different as in a lot harder to steer. Now because I never really had a lot of experience with two wheels um, and if you watch my very very early YouTube you'll know where I ended up with that. Um, I don't know any different. So to me it's not hard, to me it's easy. To a two-wheeler person, uh, annoyingly difficult probably, or just annoying. Pay no attention potential riders. If you've never ridden a two-wheeler and you jump straight onto a rider, you won't know any different and you'll do it with ease. I just thought I'd get that out there, it's been on my mind. I'm just poking along here. This is called um, Eatonsville Road and it's got potholes. Um, it's very smoky around Grafton. We did have a bushfire somewhere yesterday and the smoke infiltrated our little village a little bit and it was rather smelly. You can see that it looks a bit dry even though we had some rain not that long ago. It doesn't take long when those hot 
days along with the wind come in. So Australian men, uh, happy Father's Day. I hope you enjoy the day with your loved ones and get lots of nice, what is it, socks and shirts, socks and whatever. Nothing like getting a good pair of socks. It's only, um, it's the 1st of September, it's um, three weeks and I'm on Rebel 2, my 900 rally. I have to get it registered first. Um, with Tom going up to Brisbane, I'm not sure when that's all going to, to take place. Um, I'd like him to be here. Um, and hopefully have a nice run on it somewhere, but uh, things have changed a little bit with his working, but that's okay. I can zoom in and out of town on it. I do hope I enjoy it. It's new uh, gear shift lever has to go on yet. A little horse there. But if this weather, today's uh, going to be another really hot one, probably worse than yesterday. If this weather continues, I don't know that I'll be biking it a lot. It's fine when you're going along. Not always, I suppose, if it's really, really hot. It's just unbearable stopping and starting and feeling that heat and putting on your jacket. And I have my summer jacket on, which uh, would never have been the case in the past for the first day of spring. It'd still be quite rugged up. <coughs> it's quite good actually because the breeze is, is blowing through and um, it feels quite nice. It's only a matter of months now before these jacaranda trees are out in full bloom again. Comes around quickly. It'll be coming along here and it'll be a sea of purple. Yeah, so I, I can't wait to bring you another uh, time away with my new rally. But with Tom working, it's probably been delayed a little bit, but that's okay, we will get there. Stay tuned. Don't un don't unsubscribe me. And if you do enjoy Tom and I and our little banter and rides here and there, please like and subscribe. Thank you for all those that have and thank you for comments. Everyone's positive and it's really nice. So I'm going to tune out now on the little update and um, I hope to see you probably next time on the Rebel 2. Heavens knows where Tom will take me. Actually I want to do a trip to Tenterfield. And for anyone that um, lives in the USA, 
Tenterfield and you, and if you remember Peter Allen, the Australian Peter Allen, he has since died. Uh, he wrote a song I think called Tenterfield Saddler. And I, I don't know whether he was born in Tenterfield, I have to research that and when we do Tenterfield we'll let you all know, but uh, that's where we'll be heading. Hopefully there'll be some nice scenery and it just won't go straight into the hot, uh, no rain situation where it's as brown and dull as anything. But I am looking forward to it. It's, oh, there goes the XPT on its way to Sydney. Yeah, so we'll uh, see you next time round. Take care everybody, have a great day and a great week, etc, etc. And we'll uh, see you on the next one. Bye for now.